um, fix yourself first. We talked about that a little bit. We can still go back into it. I had a couple other. Let me see. Someone's expounding on the finances a little more. Well, I think we hit that. Yeah, we talked about that. (laughs) Yeah, but here's the thing too, though. Man or woman, but I'm gonna say woman, because some of them put expectations on a man that they're not even reaching their self. Self, that's right. You know what I'm saying? They trying to get to that point. Yeah, or with a man, or the man can already be have something going for himself. Give him a reason to get to to put, pay attention to you. Don't just have these high expectations. Oh, yeah. But really yeah. not bringing, yeah. you know, you're not ambitious. I mean, you got a job or whatever, but your ambition doesn't match here. So give him a reason to, you know, want, want to spend some time with you or pay attention to you, you know. Um, I already cut it on, so we can just talk. He cut it on. Yeah, I mean, I, I ain't gave the intro yet, so we're just talking for now. I'm going to still do the intro. Okay. Um, like, just share, comment, subscribe. <laughs> no, I didn't even start it. I just wanted to turn it on just in case we said something before we actually started that I could put no, in. No, I didn't. No, I didn't write that. Pack like. <laughs> okay. Okay. That, that's your fault. What? I was listening to that song. Oh. You heard it. Oh, that's, um. I forgot who it was. Tayana found it for me. Pack like. It sounds like Erica Badu, but it's a. Somebody, yeah, somebody else did redo that. Yeah. And I don't even know who it is. I got a couple. Let me see, because I put some notes down. And I was talking about consistency, too. Okay. And that, I mean, that could work both ways, because if that goes by being approachable, you know, being or approaching a man or approaching a woman. And then, oh, hey, boo, you know, one week, and then next week, you don't hear from her. Yeah, we about to get started. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Invest into it. Yeah. Don't cut it off. All right. Back part two, part two. Y'all enjoyed this, the first part so much, and we didn't get to finish up. But before we continue, hit the subscribe button. It's gonna be like right along here somewhere. <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. We gonna get right to it. I have Miss Tyronza Harris, better known as Cookie, back in the house. Y'all requested her to come back. We did part one of. Dating is trash, however, and we got a lot of good responses from that. Everybody loved Cookie. I wasn't <laughs> even in the picture. Everybody want to hear Cookie talk. They want to hear a point of view. But no, I enjoyed it myself. I went back and looked at it, and I think we both made some good points, but we left out some stuff. So we're going to bring you part two right now of Dating is Trash, however. You really want to know how I'm doing? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm just a little bit. I, I had an eventful Saturday, but I'm good today. That's good. I, I, I'm good. Yeah. Blessed and highly favored. Yeah, as they say, on this, on this beautiful <laughs> Who Sunday. Who is they? Yeah. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, we couldn't, we had to skip last week because of snow. It was too dangerous. And we could have done it. And the thing is, the snow had started melting could've away. I was it. like, you know what? We could have. But I was like, you know what? It'll give us another week. And some more, some more stuff might happen, or we might come up with something else, which it has, and we have more to talk about. So we're gonna get right back to the topics that we didn't get to the last time. Anything you want to say before we get started? No, I'm good. To? Okay. You um, first. I went first last time. Okay. All right. Well, let me, cause I was gonna go over here. Okay. Let me go to some of my news. And see, I'm gonna ask some real questions. Kind of deep, though. Okay. And you can answer what you want to and what you don't. Whatever. You don't have to. But question, seriously. 
looking around at the dating scene and how people interact with each other. I know last time you spoke about how your mother ended up remarrying or whatever, but you still had your father around in your life, right? Correct. Does that or did that play a part in how you select or look for a mate, good or bad? Uh, I can't say you do. Okay. So are you asking if I'm, tr- I'm looking for someone okay. like my father? Does it help? Or look like my or myself? Also? Not per se. Well, yes and no. Because, okay, with them you had some type of reference point. You know. As to what a man is, what a father is. Some people don't have that. Right. So they take a different route. And may go about looking for love. In all the wrong places. Trying to find what they didn't have. Mm. In their father. So do you feel like as you hit the dating scene did having it help you shape what you look for or did Nope. It? Okay. <laughs> you said nope. Nope. Cuz I don't I mean, I don't know what I was looking for. I don't think I don't think we we still don't know what we looking for. That's a good point. That's a good point. That's why we have I mean, Because we meet people and we may have had a conversation with them one or two Flirty, a little, little flirty, and okay. Then it just we started up. chopping it up, you know. So I'm not gonna say he was, you know, that my father or my stepfather inspired it. Cause I think I, I look for people to be or men. I ain't gonna say people because I don't date people. I date men. Um, <laughs> sociable like I am. Okay. You know, you can make me laugh. So. Thing. But your pops funny. But we still, <laughs> yeah. But it's it, well, if I did, it won't intentional. Yeah, if okay, I, if okay. I, you know, if, if you I realize, me, right, it's not intentional. And I don't and, think we do it intentionally anyway. So I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm asking. Do you intentionally do it? But looking back over your life, and when you realize some of the men that you dated, is some of that a reflection? Oh, not for me. Okay, cool. Not okay. for me. That's honest. Um, some of them might be a reflection of an ex, though. Mm. Go, go more into that. If I was dating someone and they were good, they might have had one flaw or whatever. We mm-hmm. we didn't work out, whatever. But we're going to make it happen. Yeah. Uh, um, but let's just say. Mm-hmm. You ain't got to be too specific. <laughs> yeah, I was dating somebody, and if I was dating somebody, they was all the right things besides one one or two things. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take some of what he had and be looking for it in the next. Some okay. of the good things. Okay, okay. So you base it off maybe a good ex. Right, because they're like, okay. okay. And that goes to settling. I'm okay. not going to settle. Too. If, he don't, if, he, if he can't do this or he can't do that, and it ain't no big things that maybe he can't do or do, but... I can't do. Uh uh-uh. uh. So women do that though. I mean, you you try not to carry over. Cause is that fair? I get it. The negative stuff over, right. but you do look for some of the same qualities in the next. If he had some good qualities. And I agree. Cause you they go about us saying, well, we can't say I can't say not bad about him. But we say, but I can't say not bad about him. But. Yeah, but you still in the back of your mind. If you meet somebody else, you say, "Well, he don't do me like he did me." And we do that. And some, and and, and the same goes for fathers. But is that fair? Because I do not. it too. Because we try not to carry it over, but right. it's we do unintentionally. Some intentionally, we we just do. Actually, I have a quote. It's crazy you said that about comparing, and I'm a, hopefully this this fits in. Is actually a quote from a philosopher named Jiddu Krishnamurti. I sound smart right now. <laughs> and I ain't even going to try to say it because I'm a slaughter. Yeah, but seriously, his name is Jiddu, Jiddu Krishnamurti. And it's a quote that says, So as long as the mind is comparing, there is no love. Mm. And the mind is always judging, comparing, weighing, looking to find out where the weakness is. So where there is comparison, there is no love. Now, I don't know if I agree or disagree, but it is 
an interesting perspective. It is. But are you in? The, you could be in the middle. It's fine I'm in the middle because I actually just came across it a little while ago, That's me. and I was like, That's, "Yeah." Mm. But it's uh, I was, the love part, though. Yes. Okay. So when you're comparing, when we're comparing to say, "Okay, I dated this lady. She had these qualities." And then I go kind of looking for that in somebody else. When I, okay, say somebody else does have a, just about all. They might not have quite as many as that one, but they close as I'm going to find. Am I loving that person or am I loving the other person? Ooh, you didn't add it to his quote. I haven't had time to process it, so I'm processing it as we speak yeah. right now, you know. So when we comparing, who are we really loving? It's tight. And I'm going to be honest, for years... And I don't even know because I'm just, we just going. Forget it. I'm going to say it. For years, okay, <laughs> I've been married before. I've been married twice. So after my first marriage, because it took me a while to get over it, yeah, I was looking for her and several other yeah. women. I was looking for her and several other women. Did I find it? No, because you're not going to find this person. You might find small women. pieces, but trying to make that comparison and realizing that it doesn't work like that is unfair to the other people. I may have actually passed over some good people because I'm comparing, okay, well, she does this. She washed the clothes this way or she do this. She cooks. She treat me this way, blah, blah, blah. The other person might have been good in their own ways, mm -hmm. but because I'm only looking at this scope right here, I miss, I miss it. So we say we are over someone. Tuh. We can say it all day long. We could be dating someone else. Going back to triggers. Mm -hmm. Some trigger gonna make you mad at them because you still got Come on a little bit. I'm, oh. I'm too much in the camera. Yeah. <laughs> you on. still holding on to things of from the past. From, from the, the from past. previously. And it can be immediate past. See, that's what now we get over things. We get over a lot. Yeah. It might be immediate past though, like just happened past. Yeah. A lot of times that's the case. Unfortunately, I don't, I don't know how we could tweak that. But I, I can say for me, mm -hmm. I'm saying but today, y'all. What's up with that? Know, <laughs> some of it might need to be canceled out depending on what, yeah, however. <laughs> bring however back. No, but um, me personally do try to give people a chance. Now, if you mess that chance up, you said that's on you. That's just on you. Unfortunately, like, I, I just can't. I can't even change it, switch it around. We yeah. unintentionally yeah. compare, oh, compare can, to <laughs> I can, I try to edit Compare it. to people. <laughs> and you're right. And, and like I said, I'm not even judging that as bad because we naturally just do it. That's the deal. Uh, I should get well, I got some water. <laughs> I need some stronger than that. It's been a long weekend. Um, we naturally do it, but are we mindful when we're doing it? No. But we need to be because if we're not, because I don't think comparing in itself is bad. You compare restaurants, you compare this no. clothing, the, the garments, different garments. That's not bad in itself. But if your intention in the comparison is not good, genuine. Then you got to check yourself. You need to be self-aware and know. And me comparing this to this, what is my intention with this? Am I just trying to find this person and this person? Or do I truly appreciate that this person has some of the same qualities? Just got to be honest so with So that's why you step back and you try to get over that immediate past. So you need time. You need some. And sometimes we don't realize we need time. Oh, I think we do. I think we just. We don't want time. We don't want okay. time. We, we want. Because that. Immediate gratification. Don't want to be alone. Yeah, don't want that's to be the way. Alone. We, we, Instant gratification. Instant you gratification. don't want to be alone. You want to feel like you with someone. And we damaging. We talked about that in the last one. We damaging that part. We damaging our loved one, or the person that we're trying to get to know. We damaging them. You turn good people bad doing that. And let let me let me talk about that for a little second. And we gonna get in, we about to get into your my notebook because we blending in, we blending them in there. But it's a lot of good, genuine people out here. And it's unfortunate that some of your past situations have been, may have been traumatic. You know, you might have been through some abusive situations, men and women. I'm talking to both. If you know this, which you do, 
have enough love for yourself and for other people to say, I'm not going to damage a good person because I'm damaged. People come to you with good intentions. None of us perfect. They come to you with good intentions, want to be a part of your life, willing to learn, willing to try to understand. And you will hurt that person out of maybe fear or it makes you realize that you're not ready, yet you still go forward and hurt this person instead of stepping back and saying, oh, I'm not quite ready for this yet. Let's slow down. Let's back up. Because if not, let them know. If not, I got a lot going on. I don't want to hurt you. That's a very noble thing to do. To be self-aware and say, listen, I'm just coming out of some situations. I don't want the person back, but I'm not over everything I went through. And sometimes I can be a little weird or a little crazy or a little out of it because of what I'm trying to mentally process. I don't want to hurt you. Anybody can respect that. And if they can't, you shouldn't even be dealing with them anyway. And that's all I had on that. That's what somebody said at work, though. Mm, we are, and they were watching our first and they said we'll find something wrong because I said it we were talking about some personal and I said it and she said so okay what's wrong <laughs> but his shoes ain't right It'll his shirt ain't the right the smallest thing his head ain't right he ain't get no haircut we find something wrong and really when we doing that egg got on the wrong color <laughs> He found something wrong with him and we push him away because we're not over. I've done it. I'm guilty of that. I got a straight attitude with dude. Dude was like, what I do? Yeah. I want over. I thought I was ready to settle down. Somebody from my college days. We ran into each other. Yeah. Boom. Thought it was going. But I pushed him away because I had a whole attitude. Look, I get it. Trying to move on. And won't over your immediate past. Can't do it. So we gotta stop. <laughs> we gotta stop lying. Hey, to I had a straight attitude. Look, I got it. <laughs> Joe, I text you or something. You be like, What? The? He said, What you, I do? You he asked. He asked. What you, I do? You texted me at twelve eighteen. Like, what is wrong with you, girl? <laughs> just be find any reason to be mad, just so you can stop talking to him. I get it. Like you said, because we hadn't dealt with the immediate past. Take time. And I'm learning to do that because I'm not going to say I've always done it. Now, I haven't jumped. What well, now? If you just look at social media, sometimes it can oh look God. like a person is jumping from relationship to relationship. Some are. Well, yeah. Some of y'all that have four kings already. What y'all playing space? They trying to get a Valentine. Y'all trying, oh, trying, trying to run a Boston out here? <laughs> they trying, trying to get to a do? Valentine. I'm good. If he ain't already in, I ain't going to have him temporarily for Valentine's Day. I promise you, I'm happy that... I ain't going to say that right now. Oh. Um, <laughs> I ain't going to say that. They trying to get a Valentine. Oh, you girl. <laughs> and some of y'all going to get it, but by the 15th, he going to be in the court. Oh, wow. <laughs> by the time he get that little wop, you done broke with him. Got the wop. Broke the wop. He going to be gone. Not the wop. He going to skid and skedaddle. So don't even worry about it. Take time. And like I said, I'm I'm only recently learning. Because nobody really tells you. Or when people tell you, just because of that, like you said, that instant gratification or that fear of being alone or whatever the case might be. Mm -hmm. Or you don't just, want don't want to be alone. Don't want to be alone. Yeah. Simple fear, as that. Fear of the unknown. It's it's fine. I've had people tell me I, I don't like to be by myself. Yeah. And that I thought that was weird, but it's not because that's how they operate. And, but you don't know, going back to the father figure mm -hmm. or even a mother figure, you don't know the upbringing. It's a lot of people that you don't know their upbringing or some of the, the hidden stuff that the families didn't talk about with them. Right. And they went through it and they want to feel secure. You know, I get so, that. I get that. Some of it does come from maybe... Like you say, strained up, bringing traumatic things or lack of certain dynamics. I get it. Mm -hmm. You're drawn to people for whatever reasons you're drawn to them for. But along the way, as you realize that some of these relationships are not 
the ones you've been in haven't been healthy for you, take time for yourself. Mm -hmm. Get get back to liking you before you worrying about if somebody else like you. That's a very important thing. That's something I had to learn. Because I would get in my feelings when a situation didn't work out. The way you want it. The way I want to. And now, of course, I'm still human, so sometimes stuff will bother me. But it's like, you got to get to the point where you realize, hey, I'm dope. If they don't realize it, that's on them. And that way you won't keep getting stuck trying to find validation in other people. Because you've already understood your own self-worth and self-value. That's all I got on you got anything to add to that? I ain't got nothing to add to that. That was good. Okay, let's just get into um, cause I'm trying to see how what I just said could being social. Yeah, we can, being we social. Can jump. Yeah, That's jump right. into it. Jump into being sociable. How how so social? We, so we we talked about off air that we should have captured the last time. Yeah, we gonna try to get a little bit of Steve Harvey got me one morning on the way to work on the radio. Going through it. I really won't go on through it, but just thinking. You ride when you by yourself, you ride. You you, you in the mood. No, I'm just lost in his king king, king crawling. Yeah. <laughs> um you you want to be on the dating scene. We talk about dating is trash. But what are we doing to make dating not to be trash? Are we making ourselves sociable? Are we I ain't saying you gotta go to the club. You can meet someone in a bar. You can go out to eat and you can meet someone. Are we putting ourselves in the sociable limelight to even meet someone that we could possibly have a lifetime or a future with? Are we doing it? Are we doing it, Ed? Yes and no. Because you said something last time. You said I was in the wrong pool of women. So sometimes you could be being social. So you don't tell nobody that. I thought you said it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, not, not my bad. <laughs> you talked about a lot last time. I was time, whispering, y'all. and he told y'all what I said. <laughs> <laughs> my, <laughs> no, but you could you could be swimming. You could be being sociable, but you're looking in the wrong places. The club. Well, which we know ain't no clubs jumping. Right yeah, there. but okay. Say you're going to certain kickbacks. Are the people at these kickbacks the type of people you looking to be with? Like, be realistic. Go to where the people you want to be around or be with are. We in the club. Now, you mad because he goes to the club every weekend. You met him in the club. Met him in the club. The strip club, yeah. He might really like going just for the wings, but you mad now. Because he but go every weekend. You, <laughs> you were serving the wings. So why are you mad? <laughs> Not serving. Like you say, get in the get find the places that have the type of people you actually want to interact with. And it might be a little scary because it, it's a reflection. Relationships and 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 looking at being in relationships is a mirror to yourself. It makes you have to address who Ooh, you are, yeah, and who you think you are. If that makes sense. You said a mirror. It's a mirror. Relationships is a mirror. Cause it, that person, it shows you you. Yeah. Because you looking for a person with some of your same qualities. So it's yeah. definitely a mirror. Yeah. But when you start, um, when it starts reflecting back uh, violent tempers, like traumatic outbursts, just the bad side of you, that's not just that person. Because, like I said, it's a mirror. It's showing you, you. So, if you find yourself always having to go off and go crazy and snapping, all this type of stuff, that's not just the other person. They've just showed you, you. So, in turn, okay, we might separate from them, but go face you. First. Know first. your self-worth. Know your self-worth. Fix self yourself first. We talked about that. But knowing all these things shows you where to go be sociable at. Taking the time to get to know you to know, okay, what type of person am I first? And then what type of person am I really looking for? And then start to place yourself in these circles and, and network. Get outside of your, don't keep just talking to the same people. That's right. That's right. Or the same types of people. I know men, women, sometimes we can be attracted to the bad guy or the bad, you know, woman. And if that's your preference, cool. Have a ball. 
But how's that working out for you? You might have a ball. Yeah, I mean, have a ball, have a blast, but how's it working out for you? Because I was sitting sit, sitting at home wanting to meet someone, wanting to have a friend. Maybe not even a boyfriend, wanting to have a male male friend, but I'm sitting at home every weekend. Before COVID-19, way before COVID, I'm sitting at home every weekend. Yeah. Steve Harvey said, you ain't making yourself social. That makes sense. Sitting at home watching TV every weekend, but you don't want him coming. You'll tell him, oh, you ain't my house every weekend. So how do you, yeah, so how do we even want it to happen if we're not even putting ourselves... Putting ourselves, making this, yourself social. Make yourself social. And you can do it at your own pace. That's the thing. You don't have to just put yourself in a, a situation that's going to make you super uncomfortable. We're not saying that. Just get out a little bit. And don't be stuck up. Because men, men don't like no stuck up woman. I'm telling y'all women. Men don't want no stuck up woman. No stuck up I can't. I can't stand a stuck up woman or a man. As I've gotten older, I've been generous. I've started being generous. But I He's feel, not generous. I hurt your feelings with that stuck up stuff. Because yes, you're pretty. But you're lonely and pretty. Pretty yes. and lonely. Why am I having to try to talk to you if you're so bad? And you by yourself. And for how far as I know, you've been by yourself. And when you are with somebody, it's not known. You take right. these pictures in these different locations. That ain't but you cute. can't never take the picture. You're doing a silhouette challenge. <laughs> Stop playing. Stop playing. Women, we can't be stuck up if we, we out here. And we ain't supposed to be looking if we doing it according to the Bible. But Steve Harvey, oh, I listen to Steve. Steve Steve makes some good points. Some, some good people point. don't like Steve because of some of the, the points he makes. But he makes some good points. No, um, no, no, and, no, I can, and I can relate to him if I want. That's my choice. Yeah. You know, and I, oh, I always forget what I'm giving to say. <laughs> Making yourself sociable. Um, I forgot I'm going to say it. What was he saying? My man is so boggled. Yeah, we've been we've been going into it. Um, we talking about being social. You was about to say something Steve Harvey said. I tell you what, we will come back to it. <laughs> That's crazy. It just left me. We will jump to con jump to consistency and hopefully it'll work. Oh, I know what it, I know what it, I know what it, I know what it was. He said men are natural hunters. Cause he was it, he talked about it the same morning. He was talking about being sociable. Okay. He said, yes, men are natural hunters. And then he went into talking about, but are we making ourselves social? Are we are we putting ourselves okay. out there to be hunted? Mm. We, ain't gonna use the, we ain't doing the whole thing, but we're going to put ourselves quietly and humbly out there to be hunted. Right. Not just that thought on, came back quick. And not just on social media. That's not dating, y'all. Get out in situations where you can actually interact with people. Because people can be anybody they want to behind these. Click, click, yep. click, yep. click, click, click. Then you meet them in person and you like, mm -hmm. why you got a mustache now, yo? <laughs> you ain't had it in your picture. Why, what? What is, and not that I mind some stuff. Like, I don't mind no stomach, but it won't in the picture. That's all I'm saying. I don't mind it being here now, but, but the picture you, you posted, yeah. it won't in the picture. What happened? You know. Most of the time when y'all see me, I'm in the car taking a selfie. This is how I look. Yeah. And you know this is how I look. She looks like this in real life. Some of y'all don't. But the you, makeup is cute. The eyelashes, some eyelashes. No, I ain't even knocking the makeup because it's some dope makeup. Yeah, it's some, some y'all that really do your face It's some good. dope makeup. I'm like, ooh, I want to get into Yeah, so I'm not even knocking. And I ain't ever wore makeup. I, I put a little powder on today. Yeah, and you'll see you have it on, but it's it got it me boosted. Y'all had to do my makeup for I can't. <laughs> she looks she look good, ah. but it's not too much, right? But and I'm not trying to tell women what to do. Yeah, if you want to put on real too cute, much, do your cute. thing. Yeah, I'm talking about the personality, everything that come with that though. Don't because most yourself. of the ain't it crazy how the personality fit with the cake, the the, the, the layers of makeup we have. That's crazy. <laughs> That's funny, yo. <laughs> we need to peel back all these layers. That's dope. That's real. Oh, man. What are you trying to cover up, bro? <laughs> Own your though. ish? Yes. Sir, sir. Own your what ish? You to cover Own up? your ish. Own it. Listen, at the end of the day, you got to live with you. If you can't live with you, how do you expect somebody I else to? live with you. That's like, right. For real, yo. That's why I say I'm scared. I hope I don't push... I I'd have pushed some away. Oh, I I'd probably have pushed my husband away. I'd have pushed a lot of them. 
I, I'm not rushing into it. I'm in my waiting period. And I'm not going to push nobody away because I'm in my waiting period. Your waiting period is the, the hunted waiting period. I'm waiting mm-hmm. to be hunted. Okay. So you ain't even quite Her Steve period. Harvey. I'm okay. waiting to be hunted. Okay, so you're being sociable. I'm always, I'm sociable anyway. Well, I know you're a sociable person, but I'm saying, are you Yeah, out, but I ain't going to get my phone number. Oh, tell no. everybody to come back. I'm on Facebook. If you find me there and if I respond, cool. <laughs> you don't just get a math out to just everybody. But sometimes I do. Because stuff's so weird now, we're going to get back to what we're saying. You ain't about to have me like I'm sweating you. So I get my them out first to see if you're going to call. If you're interested, call me. Because some of y'all are trying to play like a guy sweating you. It's like, no, I'm really interested in you. Stop acting stupid. Stop acting like mm, he, he sweating me. Or he Like, no, I like you. I like you, yeah, yeah. This is what people do. They they communicate. They reach out. I like Mature you. Mature ladies. But some of y'all so childish, y'all don't even, and I, I, that's going to hurt somebody's feelings. Some of y'all so childish, y'all don't even know how to interpret when a guy really likes you. You think he being a, a simp or... Or oh, oh, they think whatever. they settling because they've settled before. They think they settling. Get to know people. I think it comes with age too because like now, even if we can't hit it off, we could be the best of friends. Yeah. And respectfully, if you find someone... Or if I find someone, we still have a level of respect. And respect for each other. But we understand that it just won't be me and you. But communication allows that to happen. Some of y'all leave too many gray areas. Listen, if you don't like the guy as far as wanting to date him, communicate that. In a respectful way. Stop all this ghosting and, and this and that. Just want to tell them, I if don't you've look never at you had a, this way. Yeah, and that's cool. If y'all have never had an issue, don't just ghost the person and they got to wonder like, because now they're going to look at you like you're a piece of shit. Like, yo, that's how you do? But I thought you were an adult. Anyway. I, I, I got something to say about some, some, some men. Come on, talk to so us. A pool of men on Facebook. I know some men that are my friends on Facebook, personally. I'm, I'm tired people. of y'all. Down in women, and y'all don't oh, yeah. y'all don't keep oh, yeah. one. Yeah, yeah I'm or you or I know for a fact you're not ready to settle down. Stop down in women. Every post you make, that cringes my spirit. And I had some. Fr- I have a friend or uh, associate that does that, and I don't even know how I would look at him if I see him. Haven't seen him in in some years. But every time you post, you down in a woman, but you you was a hoe. That go back. I thought about Ed because he used hoe a lot last time. You a hoe, but every post you make, you down on a woman, and you running the streets. Listen, with no hairline. Come on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no... Come on, dude. You look older than your age. Stop. You ain't got no hairline, bro. That's funny. I'm just saying. We talk about dating is trash. That, but what did you I'm offer just... up in the dating? You know, you've dated several women, and you don't keep a woman. And dating is trash because of you. I got to go with you on that. I'm on. I'm on your. I'm on your side. Bashing women. I don't you like bash that. women because you refuse to do the work that you need to do for yourself. You got a mama. You got sisters. You got a grandma. Don't want to see it happen to you them. You got daughters. You have no business. Now it's one thing we telling jokes like real jokes about each other. Like I, you might post a joke about something funny a woman does or blah. That's funny if it's really a joke. But to get up there and be down in women every day. And I'm because one just one more time. That's some sucker shit. Because we come from them. Like Tupac said, we got our name from a woman and our game from a woman. Everything I learned about women, I learned from a woman. From mentally, sexually, everything. A woman, because that's who I deal with. We take a one and what's his next line? How do we take from our women? We take women's soul. We take why, why do we do that? And now I'm not going to act like I've never done anything wrong to a woman. But at a certain age, and she's speaking about people in our peer group, 41, 40s, late 30s, 40s or whatever. You haven't matured past that point yet where you're still pointing the finger at them. And yeah, there may be a section of women that may operate a certain way that may not be the most... um, Likeable or whatever, cool. Don't group all of our sisters together. 
Because like you said, if you don't even have anybody, you kind of need to shut up. And can't keep nobody. If you can't keep one. It's one thing if you're single by choice, but if you're single just because you trash and can't keep a woman, you shouldn't be running your mouth about one. Respect them. And if I know who you are, you can't you can't come on my post disrespecting a woman anyway. We can laugh and joke about stuff, but I'll block you if you come on my post being disrespectful towards black women. Any woman, but especially black women. I, I love my friends, most of them. <laughs> I ain't had to say most of them. Don't y'all take it the wrong way. But a relationship, whether it's a friendship or a relationship, I take pride in those. And I'm like, dude, I don't even comment. <laughs> or like, nothing they say. I must not be I'm friends tired. with whoever it is because I would say something like, dude, you got to cut that out. I'm tired. You got to stop that. I'm tired. You got something? No, I'm just saying, do the work. Do the yeah, work. Yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's pointing the finger. And it's, like I was saying, it, it don't even compare. Like I was saying, when women find something wrong, it's men out here that's always something wrong with the woman. It bothers it's me. always something wrong with it's not, nothing ever wrong with you, but it's always something wrong with the woman. The only way you're going to ever be able to grow is to accept your part first. I, I would even be still living and breathing after two divorces, yeah, I could easily point to what they did. But I couldn't grow as a person until I said, but Ed, you did this. You did this. How are you going to address this going forward? Now, did I always get it right going forward? No. But at least I've been aware that this is what you do. And hey, you've been divorced twice. you the common denominator. So part of that is really you. Stop pointing the finger. It's me. I have no right to be getting on there disrespecting anybody of the opposite sex because they don't want me. Because that's what it sounds like it come down to. If you can't keep them, they don't want you. I'm sorry. Or, he, or they done got over him because he done played them so hard. Yeah, the game's like... They done played them so hard. Let's talk about that consistency thing. I was going to say, yeah, go Let's talk about yeah, that consistency about thing. That. Yeah, let's talk about that. I just hit me again. Yeah, go ahead. Let's talk about that consistency. <laughs> Come on. Don't hate big head me. <laughs> Ed favorite saying. Don't hate big head me Monday through Friday, the second through the fifth, and then the sixth through the eighth. I don't even hear from you. I'm trying to tell you, man. Don't do that. I, I sit around and wait for people to text them. <laughs> so, but then I'll say, I don't want to seem too overbearing. If I keep texting you and you ain't responding, you was, you 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 just said because what after I was about a while to say. though, I'm gonna stop. You just said what I was about to say. Like I don't mind at first when I I'm showing interest. Boom, I'm hitting you. But after a while, and I realize I'm like, hey, they only hit me back when I hit them. So let me not hit them up for a minute. He, he telling y'all what he want. And when they don't hit me back for a few days, we don't talk no more. He telling y'all. He, he telling y'all what he want. Men tell you what they want because I'm going to show interest in you. I'm going to let you know, if you ever had conversations with me on that level, you know, I'm going to talk to you good. I'm going to, I'm going to try to be good to you. I'm going to let you know what I want. All right? So you it won't be no gray area. But like I say, once I realize, yeah, they converse with me when I talk to them or when I hit them up. And they seem interested in the conversation. But they never hit me up unless I hit them. So, how, how you doing? Yeah, let me not hit you up for a few days. And like I say, once you don't you don't feel like you need to pick up the phone and hit me, we don't talk no more. Break the ice. Yeah. I gotta, Go ahead and break the ice, ladies. Yeah, I got to disconnect from that situation because I for real, I got a lot to do. We shooting a podcast now. When I finish, I got a lot of work I got to do. So I'm actually busy. But if I'm taking the time to show interest in you, and then I stop because I'm like, let me chill and see if this is something that got potential. And you don't hit me back. I ain't got nothing else to say to you. If you're not interested. Because I'm busy for real. Say, I don't look at you that way. And that's cool. And even if it hurts my feelings. if you know him. I'm a big boy. I, I be, I, it'll hurt my feelings for a few minutes. Then I'm going to be and right And that ain't him, harsh. I'm, say, no, I don't harsh. look at you that way. I'll probably end up telling a joke about it after a while. Because that's how I process And we stuff. might can be friends. Yeah. I've, I've had people tell me that. I check on you. You check on me. Let me tell. Yeah. 
I literally, and it hurt my feelings. It's easy to say it and done for some, but, but no, I'm glad she we did. We learning. And she probably, if you, if you watch this, yes, I'm talking about you. <laughs> it was it's a lady that's she just a few years older than me, and she dope, she bad. And I was Steph Curry one day. I said, yeah, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> that Steph. I said, I'm gonna do it. I pulled it from half court and just shot it. I look, I turned around and walked away because I said, I don't know what's gonna go in. <laughs> and she hit me back and she was like, I look at you like a brother. And I was hurt to my soul because I was like. I look at you and imagine you naked. <laughs> you was confident. Yeah, we not looking at each other the same. But I respected that. Because what could I do about it? It's actually an honor that she said, I look at you like a brother. And some some people will take offense. And it sucks. Because like, it's why like. Why you got to look at me like I'm a brother? Why you can't look at me like I'm Morris Chestnut or somebody? <laughs> like I'm a calf fiber. Or Give me some love, baby. And my feelings was hurt for a minute. I was like. Dang, so I ain't got a chance now. I could see if she say, I just don't look at you like that. I, I could probably figure, well, I'm going to try to make her look at me like, like that. that. <laughs> but you look at me like a brother, like, nah, okay, I got to deal with that. And I, I respect that. But I can deal with that. Because she told me. And there's no animosity and there's no gray area. Cut the gray areas out. A simple phone call, a simple text, well, better yet, a phone call. Stop leaving gray areas with people and treating people as if they're disposable. If people come into your life and want to try to add some value to it, stop acting funny with them. If, if, Be even consistent. If, even if they're they are slightly somebody that you have never thought about dating, see what they're all about. And they'll probably fool you. Yeah. Don't hate big head me the second through the fifth and then the sixth through the eighth. I don't need her from you. And we've been texting consistently, but now I don't hear from you. And I feel like I'm overbearing because I'm texting, texting, but I'm going to stop. And if you. And that's true. And I have, you know, some of us have a heart. We're going to, we're going to check on you, but it might be two or three weeks later. And then that's all we're going to do though. Be, hey, what's up? Just checking in. And we're going to leave it at that. After a minute, that's Your pursuing over. is over. Yeah, after that, that's just going to be, hey, you all right? You good? <laughs> after that. My own boy. You good? <laughs> you you the friend zone me in my mind, so it's like, I ain't even chasing you but like that. Yeah, yeah. But what you said is true, as far as men go. Yeah, women do. Y'all respect consistency. But make sure y'all show us that y'all respect that consistency, too. By, 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 recipro by reciprocating, like what oh, I said, okay, man, okay, just reciprocate. Okay. You said you don't mind, you know, showing your interest. Well, ladies, don't stop. Like if he doing it, just let it, let it, cause that's how you build it. Don't get in your mind that uh, you the only thing that's a prize. I get it, you are the prize, but. If he's showing interest and you're allowing that, he must be some type of prize too or something that you value. I ain't calling him because he ain't called me. Yeah, nah, get out of that. Get out of that. I ain't texting him because he ain't text me. If you realize, yeah, you're busy. But he might be busy too. Stop stop being selfish with it. If you're going to open yourself up to dating, you're going to have to move self out of it a little bit. Self, yeah, yeah. You got to stop being selfish a little bit and then open up. That's being stuck up too. Yeah. Yeah, sure. And I actually, I think that stuck up stuff come out of fear too. Because it's a front. It's a front. It's a hard. It's hard a front. front. Yeah. Because once you, if you get past them layers, you'll find sometimes, not every time, a, a a very insecure person. Sometimes, not every time. Or a a very sweet, open hearted person. That's true too. Fear that goes back to fear of the unknown. Yeah. But they don't, don't know how to yeah. put themselves out there. And and once you talk to them, you might find out why they don't, why it comes across that way. You might, might be like, oh, snap. I get it. But still, try to find a way so if you want to be approached, that you make yourself approachable. Open yourself up. Yeah, open yourself up. We, we, we got to do that, men and women. Yeah. I wasn't trying to take away from consistency. You're good. Like, you okay, because... That, and I mean, it, it's just what it, consistency. Look at the definition. And I'm telling you, this year, I'm not allowing, and I'm talking about me now, 
not allowing personal, I'm not allowing lack of consistency to bother me for so long. Once you pass a few days time and we haven't spoken, because I got so much to do, I have to find a way to shut that off so I can keep going. I don't know when Ed on the road or when he at home. I'm always on the road. I'm always moving. <laughs> Like, I, I'm really, I got a lot of stuff I'm trying Fast to do. Fast is moving, child, I know. <laughs> yeah, literally, once I cut this camera off, I got to get a lot of stuff, finish these orders, and then try to edit this to get it up by at least and by the end. You got to get on the road. Then get on the road. So I'm busy. I know you busy too, but what was I just saying? Be consistent. That might have even been what I was saying, but still, be consistent. Reach out. And let me offer an apology too. Because if I've ghosted oh, some of you recently, <laughs> my bad. I do better after this video. <laughs> <laughs> Not after this video. <laughs> I've ghosted some too. I've, hey, I, come I'm, on now. I'm trying. I haven't ghosted any. I'm not on the dating scene. Well, no, because I'm not like dating, dating. But it's been some that show a little bit of interest. And I just. You're just busy. Yeah, just you. Tighten up. Yeah, so I have to do better too. I'll hold him accountable yeah, for you. Please do. Please do. I'm gonna I'm hit his inbox. You hollered at that girl yet? <laughs> I'm up, up Tuesday. Tuesday, ladies. Yeah. February 9th. I'm, I'm sending air to inbox. You hollered at that girl yet? <laughs> it's a couple, <laughs> couple situations I want to speak of, but I'm not, I'm that, not gonna do that. That girl, again. you that girl. Because I don't want him to tell me your name. I'm going to check. I'm going to thank him. <laughs> you hollered at that girl yet? I've been talking to him, y'all, on his post. I've been trying to get him to hold his mule. He wouldn't hold it. You hollered at that girl yet? <laughs> I don't care which one. Holler. I've hollered at a couple. He said a couple. I mean, not You're like that. No, no. Said. That's what I'm saying. I can't really say what I want to say. Don't, don't say it. <sighs> don't, don't don't say that. Go go somewhere else. Go to somewhere else. I, if I can figure out a way to say what I need to say, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna tell y'all this, fellas. But I can't say it right there. I'm gonna I'm gonna go into go my ahead, song go. now. Y'all better pack light. Ah. Pack light. What what does pack light mean, Cookie? Break it down. Pack light. Don't be carrying all your stuff over a woman's house, knowing that you ain't gonna stay. Invest. Got this woman investing in in material things. I'm not gonna be spe specific. Pack lights. If you know you don't have the intention on staying, don't dump all your baggage on a woman. Vice versa, women. Don't be out here using no men. Pack light. Listen to the song. Look at the video. Pack light. I forgot the, the, the sing the single. Yeah, I care about but hopefully we can find it later. Investing got Woman, women, don't let these men suck y'all dry. Yeah, Buying cars, right. rent houses, apartments. Don't, don't let them. Okay, what does that come Cause from? Because you ain't going to get it back. At all. Trust me. <laughs> you're not going to get it back. <laughs> and you're going to be reestablishing yourself if you're established. It's nothing wrong with establishing together. Have some limitations. Don't put yourself all the way out there. I don't like it. Where does that come from? I, I think it comes from... Love. We said it comes from love. Yeah. What did I say about allowance? When a woman in love, you allow... Man, you allow it inevitable. Be a fool to love for real. That song is true. It take a fool to learn. The love, love I've been a fool. Everybody. I'm sure yeah. Ed done been a fool. Crazy we done love. been some fools. I'd have been a damn fool. A lot of us have been some fools. Fool. Not limited to just us. I could tell you, boy, love make you College, stupid. baby. College. Boy. I know sometimes my folks will look at me like, he just gone. Because I don't know if what she's saying to him or that thing got him gone. She in his head. She done got it. <laughs> Ain't that the same? What? I, remember in this, I remember after the fact, and this was around the peanut festival. And this was just quick. I ran into some people and I removed myself from that situation and kind of started back operating as myself. And a couple people, it was like, Ed, thank you. He was having thank an you out of you for body coming back. experience. It was like, thank you for coming back. I was like, what you mean? Like, thank you for starting back being yourself. I was like, oh, because love had me dumb. He didn't change. 
I'm just me now. So whatever you get is going to be this. Um, you can't be nobody but yourself. And I really had to embrace that. And I say that in my career. I really had to embrace I'm that. I'm going to be respectful. I'm going to be this. I'm going to be that. But I can't be nobody but myself. The better version of me is me. Yep. Have I grown? Yes. I'm not going to be cold. I'm not a cold hearted person. Right. I'm going to push you out the camera. Mm. Okay, good. I can say some. I argue with you until I get the last word. Uh, <laughs> but I can't be nobody but me. All you can be is you. And in being me, somewhere in my years of aging, keep on saying good morning. <laughs> keep on saying good morning. In my years of aging, you humble yourself and you mature. But I'm still going to be me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't be the better. It's just an hey, evolved version of you, but it's still you. Man, what you see is what you get. Same, man, likewise. Look at me. I didn't hear a lot of men say I was mean. No, you ain't going to treat me any kind of way, and you ain't going to do me any kind of way. Because I can do for myself. Some men can't My say, dad, that, say that, though. Yeah, look at daddy. She's spoiled. Mm -mm. I'm independent to him, too. He'll tell you. Some men can't stand. I show my dad and my mama that I'm very independent. They can't. Have they I can't struggled over it. the years? Yes. Did I need them? Yes. I feel good because I done got to a point. Oh, I is good. That, hey. I'm maintaining. It's a beautiful feeling. Yeah. I got some things right on the horizon where I'm about to be. I ain't going to speak too quick, but I'm about to That's be super, right. super good. Because you know you keep some things yeah. on the rack. Yeah. And I, I, in the past, I've self-sabotaged and I've used words because words have power and i kind of spoke against it and didn't realize it so i'm about to walk into some some good stuff i'm going to i'm headed there and i'm gonna just leave it there i suck in air when i no i ain't saying that you gotta suck in yeah air. like i be wanting to sit but it's like no nah, i'm gonna just chill <laughs> because i know for one I, I seen somebody post we make moves not announcements so we just i think i saw that yeah we're we gonna make moves um but back to going back to allowance, we were saying you were saying love allows people to back to do that. I <laughs> That's think, a big one though. People buy a lot of stuff and and just be they scraping think, and scrunching. Some people think buying stuff equivalates to love is the equivalent to I love you because I bought you this. And we can go into all the love languages and stuff. Some people's Top love language isn't even gifts. It might be um, acts of service or um, physical touch or something of that nature. But you said love. I, I think sometimes a little insecurity ties into that too. Yeah. Because I'm trying to buy this person's mm -hmm. love because of something I feel like I'm lacking. I, oh, I'm going to keep awarding him and gifting him to make him stay. And vice versa, yeah. Because of, but that's that comes from something. It's either something that's in us or how we were shown love growing up, and we might think, "Oh, I saw such and such do this." Even if it wasn't your parents, just whoever you look to, oh, that's how they show love. So, okay, this is how you show love, and in the end, you you, you stuck without the items you bought, and if you used your your credit, then your credit will be a little jacked up too. Don't be dumb in 2021. That was good. I thought he will not use no sayings, y'all. That boy, that boy. Good. I don't, I don't want to hear it. I just, that just came out the air. <laughs> don't be dumb in 21. In 21, that's right. That um, a user. I, 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 I can't, I, I can't stay on a user. Right, right. Boy, I learned some stuff in college. I tell you. Listen, and, and men and women do it. I, I'm trying to think who does it more. Men. I think it's highlighted more when men do it. I think. Let me wait before I say it. Men. Because I don't need y'all coming for me. Now, I know some women. <laughs> they tell you I can get in there anything I want. I, and I think. Out of these men. I think every woman does it to a certain level. I don't know. Like to a. Mm -mm. But I think it's built into how y'all operate so you don't think it's a user. Now, you're independent, so maybe someone as you. yourself, you don't have to operate on that level at all. But I think with some, like you have some that's just out there like, look, I'm going to get that money. they going to pay me what I, whatever I ask for. I'm going to get it from these niggas. Yeah, yeah. That's and there's some out there like that. I get it. These means. And when you out there and you being yourself, I respect it. You ain't going to get it from me, but I respect <laughs> it. 
Get my little, know, get my little change. You it, get my little one change. young lady. She, she said you got to pay all her bills to be with her. Woo! You don't. But right now you ain't that. Who buy? So who paying them now? She is. <laughs> and this ain't no shot. This ain't no disrespect. But I'm just saying, everybody oh. has their own, you know, modus oh. operandi. That's cool. But then I think it's built in. Every woman kind of expects a man to do something for her financially. Okay. So it's kind of built in. Not so much you feel like you use That's it. That's safe. Kind of. I mean, but you minimize kinda, it. I did. Well, you didn't minimize it. I but I'm, did. I'm just saying there's levels to it. It's I different did. levels. It's just so I think women do it more, but I think it's highlighted more when men do it because I think when we do it, we make y'all look really crazy. Oh, yeah. But y'all's is a little more subtle. So it's actually accepted as with, like you say, man, she didn't bought me the PS5. She get she gave me the money down for my whip. You know, she about to buy me these brand new, you know, she going to give me the Balenciaga But, you, but do you love her? Do you want to be that with That thing good. Act like men. That thing good. Act like. She, about to, she going to the liquor store right now. To some men, that is love, though. It's crazy. A person that has only perceived love one way, and then a man that think that that is love, don't even know that that's a recipe for disaster. Because that ain't what love is at all. Pack light, like you said, pack light. Because um, be able to handle your own, man. Ladies, hold these men accountable. I just thought about that when you was talking. Keep going. I mean, that's all. <laughs> hold them accountable. If they're getting on your nerves, then let them go. I know it's easier said than done. But hold them accountable. They can't get away with it. What y'all say? She let me get away with it. I'm going to say something. It ain't necessarily letting you getting away with it. It's coming. We just building your resume for you. It's coming. You get ready to get the boot. You get ready to get the boot. Get we holding boot. you accountable, but you get ready to get the boot because now you're plucking out there. Yeah, and when a woman's fed up. Ain't no boot. I can't it ain't say it to do about it. It, it ain't, ain't jail, nothing. but that's the truest lyrics ever. When a woman's I've fed been up. On I Saturday. said it too. When when I'm over you, when a woman's it's fed up. over. You in tr- you more in trouble than I am. Bro, it's absolutely nothing you can do about it. And if you make her mad in those moments, you'll probably see some of the levels of pettiness you've never even thought about. However, could. there are some women that don't get fed up. And I pray for my sisters. Because I, I look at you and I want you yeah. to be fed up because I don't like to see you hurt or being used. Yeah, and I don't respect the fact that because it's not in me to do it, I don't respect the fact that some just take advantage of that. Like, don't do your, don't do your women like that, man. Build her up. And vice versa. Cause I said, Cause I've heard women say, man, that dude, man, I can get anything I want him. He dumb. You just use it. I didn't hear some women say that. Or girls. I think I've been dumb once. But it's before I really knew she had it wide open. the game. But now, until I know you down, I do just enough. As far as like money wise. Because you ain't about to play me. Not even play you. I ain't gonna put myself in no position that I can't pay your bill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. With no man, you and know I've what done, I'm saying? And I've done that. And vice versa, same thing. How I ended up finally getting back to the situation, I'm, I'm a good situation I'm in now. I ended up that way, being good to a lady, helping her out with her stuff. I look up, and when the, when the money ran out, she ran out. She was out too, and I'm stuck having to start over. And this has happened since I've been in trucking, like early on. I learned some life things. lessons. I learned since then, but so that's why now it's like until I know you really rocking with me, I do some some things because I don't mind. But you ain't about to play me. You for one, you ain't about to be talking about me like I'm no sucker. You ain't gonna about to play me like one either. For real, I got to know you really down. You can get anything you want, but until then, mm -mm, because nah, because for some reason, a person could be really genuinely doing some good things for you. But because of, I don't know how you've been taught or whatever. Like you say, you, you might be around. Oh, he, he, that girl, he buy me anything. Let me, let me show you. I'm going to tell him I'm hungry. Watch he, watch he get Uber Eats to send me some food. <laughs> Not Uber Eats. Some of y'all really be doing that, that, that sucker stuff, man. And it's not to, cool. to prove it to your girls. To prove, yeah. And got this man thinking he got a chance. Like, stop. 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 
It's ugly. It ain't cute. I'm gonna say something, and you might want to. You you probably get some kickback on this, ladies. Stop saying you want a good man. I think we talked about that last time. But I gotta I gotta say it again. No, I'm just saying. Yeah. We, yeah. Stop saying you want a good man. And then when you get presented with the good man, you self-sabotage it. Or you realize you're not the woman that you need to be to have this good man. Or do she know she 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 not the woman? She don't know that. Because she don't know her self-worth just yet. She ain't fixed herself. I think some of them start to believe the lies they told themselves, so they think they are. Because they lied to themselves and told themselves. Girl, that. he a good man. You just, you still don't believe it. But you know what? Okay. But I realize nowadays being a good man ain't enough. Give me an example. I got to have an example. You probably right. It's almost like y'all want somebody to body slam me. <laughs> you don't want to do a dude that's not going to hit you, and that's not for everybody. And I'm not trying to trigger nobody because it's not. I that's had not that problem. I'm gonna start now. Yeah, that's not funny. I said that to be extreme, but it's almost like, and I probably did speak on the last time. It's like you almost want somebody you got to try to change or fix up or work on or you need a project. You can't deal with a man that already got his own stuff going on. And doesn't need you. Hmm. What part of the camera I'm looking at? Oh, okay. I turn away. And that ain't just for me. Because I ain't the only one. It's others. Some of y'all don't want a good man. You want a man. You want somebody that's dependent on you. And has to depend on you. You're going to fuss about it. You're going to talk about it. You're going to act like he a piece of shit. All that. But deep down, you need that. You can't deal with a man that doesn't need you. He likes you, but you can't deal with one that doesn't need you. That doesn't apply to everybody, but it's some of y'all. And then again, I might be in the wrong pool. But if you can add something to that, um, cool. I think cool. we we hold men to a standard that we don't hold ourselves to. Woo! Did I have it up here? No, you didn't. Girl, that's good. We do. Men. Woo! We hold women to a standard that we don't hold ourselves to. Oh, you'll feel it back on this. Yeah, both ways. That's true. That's because true. I don't want to be biased. That's true. Because I know some good with a T men, and I know some good with a T women. And it all ties back into knowing yourself worth, fixing yourself, healing. From your past, healing from the current, healing from whatever. Mm -hmm. Recognize when you got a good one. I ain't talking about a good texting one. A good calling one. I'm talking about a good one. That I do anything for you. <laughs> yeah. That asks you out of the blue, is everything okay? Do you need anything? That's some, that's some good qualities. I don't know if I'm speaking for myself. But if you ask me that, that shows me that you care so about good, my so well. So I'm a good man then. About my well being. Yeah. We all got flaws. I'm saying yeah, you yeah. got some yeah, flaws, but you best. still could con be best. concerned about someone else's well being. Yeah. Shoot, that made me fall in love right there. But they need to recognize that it, that is a good quality. Yeah, so that is a good quality. That's a good quality, That's ladies. Good quality. That's a good quality, ladies. But we'll push them away every time. And I'm more open now because I've done it. Don't want to square. <laughs> Which some people see as a square because somebody Ed and talked about him over here. Or he been a, he was a square in high school. Most of the times it's the opposite. He'll be a square in high school. And you see him at homecoming in a few years. You'll be like, dang. He was a square. And that he did. And that's possible. We've all grown. Hopefully we've grown. Some of us haven't. Grown since so, no, school. no, no. But I know it's bits of me from high school, but I'm not the same person I was. Oh no, I don't even remember. So if you judge me based on that, if you weren't like like in the band and stuff like that, they might have saw some of this, but I didn't really outside of a few people, I didn't really interact with a lot of people like that in school till maybe my junior senior year. 
I interacted more because I was kind of shy growing up. You can't tell that now, but yeah, I was kind of shy. So I was kind of to myself. I was playing with drums and I eventually got out my shell. And once I came out the shell, boom. But I'm not the same person now. It's been 20, how many years now, Cookie? I lost track. 97. Yeah, so 97 to now. How many, 20 something. <laughs> We've grown. So when you're looking at a person, I'm not just talking about me. Don't just look through that lens just because you might have grew up with them in church or school or right. 4-H camp or whatever. View them, observe them for who they are now. And that person that might have been that square or the girl that might have been that nerd, she might be that one now. Trying to tell you. When them nerds came out, come out, the, out that nerdiness, <laughs> woo! Oh my God. Yo. That's you love Steve Urkel. Uh -oh. What was his alter ego? Stefan Urkel. Stefan Urkel. Yeah. <laughs> Boy. Hey, hey. That's a whole different thing. No, but men too. I, I want to speak to y'all on, on. on that. Women don't want to have to tell you on their own, hey, I need this. They want you to ask. They want you to say, hey, you need anything? Don't be all hard. Get you a little soft spot somewhere. Good. Yeah. I mean, but women, they do, eh? But, but, okay. They, want, <laughs> they, but want, they want you to they want you to ask. And I get that. I get that. They want you to ask. Okay. Complex situation. Some women have had to do it so long on their own. Even when you ask. It's almost like unless you find out for yourself what they have going on, some of them not going to tell you. Open up, ladies. Look. But but for one, I get it. Some of them, they've been disappointed so much from people saying, yeah. I'm going to help. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And they never come through. So they feel like if I don't ask nobody, I won't get disappointed. So even when a guy asks, it's so hard for some of them to open up and be like, something as simple as, like, for real, I can need some gas money, yo. Because, for one, they might think the guy going to look at him a certain way. But, no, if he's really interested in you. Tell him some, ladies. Some. Showing you some 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 real interest. Do it just to test him. If nothing else, to be like, how far can I really go deep with this guy? Tell you him know? something. He said, tell him something. Tell him something. Yeah, t t something. But don't. Like I say, some of us ask, judge us based on us, not based on the ones that disappointed you. Right. That goes back to, to in the beginning when we talk about comparing yeah. and taking them little bits and pieces over into yeah. this and because you had that. But I'm not taking away from your point. Fellas, ask. If you're showing interest, ask her. You ask. good? You need anything? Or if you hear her in conversation, you ain't. sometimes you ain't got to ask. And it's I know this for a fact. It's a part of love. If you're listening to your woman and she's one that does talk and communicate and talk about what's going on with her, she, you'll hear what she needs. And I'm the type, if I if I rock with you like that, if I'm showing interest, I ain't got a lot of money. I got a couple of dollars. So if I hear you talking and you saying something, you be like, man, I got to wait to pay me, blah, 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 boom, boom, boom. I might just send you the money. Don't I won't even say nothing. And either you'll see the notification that you got the money or I'll be like, hey, look, See if you got this. Why you do that? Why you send me that? And it's cute. <laughs> Why you do that? But I don't do it for no. Make sure your no intentions. Show. Yeah, mm -hmm. make sure your intentions are pure with doing that. I don't do it to try to get some. And I actually prefer you never bring it back up. Some people want the credit for. It. I actually, if I do something like that, don't even speak about it no more. Thank you. Like for real. Thank you. I, I can't feel, stand I, I get uncomfortable. Throw something back in your face. I get uncomfortable. Even in an argument, I'm not gonna bring it up. Because that's not why I did it. That's not why you did it. Yeah. I did it because I'm interested in you. I because heard there was a need. To. And, if, and I, I tell you, I, I've been telling, you know, I told you, a young lady, I said, if I can't add to you, I don't deserve to have any of your time. I don't deserve to be around you. If I can't add to you, I don't deserve to be around you. Because I'm not here to take away. Oh. So if I, I can't add him. to you. So... If I know you got a situation, you are you're a woman taking care of everything on your own. I'm not gonna come in and be another bill for you, another child you got to feed. 
I'm going to try to add to you. And that's all I got to say on that. But like I said, like you say, ask, but listen. Okay, somebody, a young lady posted something the other day. And it ended up being a little debate about it. And she posted that uh, men stop asking. I'm paraphrasing because I want to. I want to try to quote it. I might get it wrong. It was pretty much saying men stop asking women where they want to go. Just book the reservation. I think I saw that. You know, and tell her when to be ready, or whatever. A couple guys got up there upset and and debating on what she said. But it's like this. He was he was saying something like, "Oh, you want me to be a mind reader or blah 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 this and that." No. I'm like, no. If you're listening to the woman, you say you're interested. Be in creative. Her. I said that toward the end of the last one. Be creative. But you hear the thing she's interested in or might be open to. So even if she doesn't name a specific thing, just listening to her, you might be like, okay, well, boom, she might like this. She might like to go to the, you know, wine taste. She might like to go to Top Golf or she might like music. Whatever. You, you're hearing it. You and then if you don't know how, just say, hey, baby, I, I'm planning on taking you this place this way. Can you go on? And, and and look, I ain't, I ain't that sad. You like that, right. Just just do that. We're going to do up. that. That's a surprise in itself. I don't care when you tell them. Stop making it like it's a bother when they... You make it like it's a bother when they're indecisive about little things. But if you're proactive about them, it'll remove that. Proactiveness. Yep. Like, oh, she don't know what... Okay, like, I don't really trip over where you want to eat because I might already have a man a restaurant I want you to try out. But don't ask me what I want to eat because I don't never know what I want to yeah, eat. Yeah, <laughs> because if you ask me that, I might not know because I you just like, that Facebook post? No, nah, which one? Yeah, women ask you what you want to eat. Then you go get something like, well, why are you getting Right, <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> then you don't ask eat some me of what mine. I want to eat because I don't know what I want to eat. I never know what I want right. to eat. Right. Just pick something good. Because we're so limited here. So, <laughs> like, something Friday. That's why I ate nothing yet because I don't even know what I want to eat. Friday, I just ate something at the house. I ain't want nothing that was out there. Don't ask me. Home cooked meals are appreciated. <laughs> y'all know you're a truck driver. on the road, y'all. Somebody cook for me. <laughs> I'll pay you, yo. Now, okay. He's saying that, y'all. So now, I'm going to check on a Tuesday. And Wednesday, I'm going to ask him if he got that meal yet. Because somebody will hop in your inbox and say, I made you a plate. Well, honestly, Don't be ghosting them now. You asked for it. He asked for it. Somebody volunteered. Somebody might give me get some text kill. messages later. <laughs> they gonna kill you. Somebody offered to cook me dinner, and I, I might take them up on it. But here's the flip side: I asked them out, and then they got weird. I said, "So I can come." I'm thinking to myself, "So I can come to your house and eat dinner, but I can't take you out to eat." Maybe they don't see you like that, but they haven't told you that, so you don't know. If you're watching this, stop. If it's spaghetti, don't eat it. <laughs> That's all right, I'm going to put some mashed potatoes. <laughs> oh, my God. I even that one. Hey, I just freestyled that one. Yeah. If it's spaghetti, don't eat it. Yeah, I think I, somebody might have gotten me with <laughs> But, yeah, I, I'm just messing on that. I'm going to stop talking about personal situations. Hey. No, I'm not. But um, what was we just saying? I, I got off track. I'm going I'm to say this. Freely. Freely Go asking. Ahead. That's what we were talking about. Yeah. Stop being scared to communicate with each other, man. Talk. And I think we just, and we just talking from being the age that we are maturing and yeah. because this is what, and we're talking from what we, we accept as well. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sure there's some people that probably accept or similar things or can relate this, to what yeah. we're saying because 100%. they just trash. <laughs> the title, dating is really trash. I hear so many people talk about dating is trash. People don't, they don't ask you out anymore. They don't know how to date. Okay. So, so I'm going to try to. Okay. You sure? Mm. Okay. So, because I'm trying to, a thought coming to me. What is the proper. I'm going to ask you this, but then if you say it, I don't want all the guys to think that they can just... What's the proper way to pursue you? Or is there a specific, like... What 
grabs your attention. Say if it's, because I don't know about yours, but I know, I know men frequent inboxes. So it might be a, several that's trying to get through. Not men, but what some would, inboxes. What would break through to allow you to be like, hmm, that's interesting. What what does a man what does that look like pursuing cooking? Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Okay. You gotta answer. I mean, it's just it's just it's just simple as if we were face to face. It's a if it's an inbox, it's not gonna continue as an inbox. It's got anything to do with me. But it's fine because you don't have my number. You might not have seen me because of COVID nineteen. Right. So it's fine. If you uh, come in my inbox, just the same as if you were going to approach me, okay, in person, okay. Hey, I've been, I've been looking at you for a long time. Um, something similar to what I what I said. Okay. Um, you know, you know the question y'all like to ask. She got a man, <laughs> and that's okay to ask. I don't ask that because I don't care. You need to care. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Man. Sky. I'm what, not saying what, I don't care. And it's okay to me. I, can't, I accept that. I can't. After, but when I'm first hitting you up, I don't care about that. But and I guess some ask that because they don't want to. They don't want to be intruding. You know what I'm saying? Some actually care. If you're entertaining my 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 um, communicating with you, you don't care. Continue. Yeah, that's the difference, though. But if you are single or you're pursuing. Tyronza, it's okay to be in my inbox. You can start a conversation and ask me probing questions. Okay. Into the minimum parts of my life. Right, okay. But just know they will not continue in the inbox. Right, 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 right. You can call me, I will tell you. Now, if you choose not to, it's no longer pursuing. And that too. Because I was going to go a different number. Stop trying to have relationships through just text. Now, there are some days where texting is probably the best because I'm busy and I, I really don't have time to just be on the phone. But we're not going to have every communication through text. 90% of the week, it shouldn't just be through text. You got my number? Pick up the phone call. and call me. I might stop texting you text me too much. My hands, yeah, sometimes that's more convenient, but sometimes I need my hands free. I ain't trying to, because for one, I can't tell tone. I can't tell intention. You need to hear my voice to hear what I'm saying to you. So if there's a discrepancy, you can tell whether I was trying to be mean, vindictive, nice. You can't tell. We're not about to do that. No, don't let your first time telling me you love me be through text. I know that's oh. But because nowadays I think that's accepted, but if you can't say it to my face, don't say it. I just say to see what you gonna say. <laughs> God, Jesus. <laughs> I just said to see what he was going to say, girl. Okay. Play them games with me. He didn't even tell games. me. Because they does not have to be trash. Yeah, they don't have to be trash. Y'all. If we have honesty and communication. And we get to know one another wholeheartedly. And we look inside someone's soul. Mm. And look into the version of them. Stop holding people to a higher standard that you're holding yourself. Okay, question. Is there anything wrong with seeing a higher value in someone than they see for themselves and actively trying to pull that out of them? No, it is nothing wrong with that. Okay. Okay. It's not at all. Because that person may not recognize their worth because that's okay. what it is. It's, it's their worth. And I agree. And they might actually appreciate that. They Some will, but some pull against it because they're not used to that. They're right. not used to somebody actually seeing them. I remember one, one, one young lady told me, she was like, I'm not this person you think I am. And I was like... What that mean? I was like, so all I do... Now, man, is some of the mistakes I might have made. I was like, all I do is respect you. We always enjoy ourselves around each other. I feed you. I've cooked for you. You know, we, we you know, we, we vibing. 
so is the respect I'm showing you more than you expect from me for yourself or I, I didn't I never really understood what she meant by that I'm like you're not so you don't feel worthy of the respect you're being shown I, I don't get it I just fear the unknown yeah and that might have been it, it might have been love. uncomfortable right you, you might not have been used to somebody that Actually, doesn't mind telling you you're beautiful and all that stuff, even though it's. Doesn't mind say that. See. <coughs> even though sometimes the mushy stuff and the cheesy stuff, I'm with it if I like you outside of that. Not so much. Um, <laughs> but if I'm saying those type of things to you, accept it. Except it. for one, if I'm telling you you're beautiful, you should already know that. So I shouldn't be the first person trying to validate that for you. Well, somebody might have called him ugly. And I get that. So that's even for more reason. Abuse. That's even more reason to accept me telling you you're beautiful because I see something in you that somebody else did. Or they, or not even just verbal abuse. They might not ever think they were, because the person you may see, somebody else may not see. Right, and I think that was the case. And I think she ran from that. I think it scared her that somebody else saw something deeper in her than she was ready to show. Or something. I don't know. It, it was weird. It was weird, yeah. It was weird. But, um, it's sad, though. When, when us, as just humans, whether it's man or woman, don't know the worth, don't know what we're capable of. Right. We were not put here to be alone. I don't need nobody. Yes, you do. I tried to, to do that. Yes, you do. You can't make it through it by yourself. And it do come unexpectedly, y'all. It do. It, it comes unexpectedly. You'll be surprised. I'm still waiting on that, though. You ain't supposed to be waiting. I'm supposed to be waiting. We I'm supposed, supposed to be hunting. Yeah, you supposed to be hunting. I think it's Wait. bad meat out here that I'm hunting now. <laughs> it's spoiled meat. I'm hunting in the, in the wrong field. Somebody else get it. <laughs> yeah, I'm hunting in the wrong field. What you just said? We got some hurt women out here, though. Can we? Yeah. We I some men, look, I just seen some men cry, y'all. I've cried. I'm talking about hurt from a woman. We have some hurt. It's I a mean, lot of I us mean, hurt women. It's a lot of us hurt. The only That reason, make us think that dating is trash. It's a lot of us hurt. I'm speaking for me now. I'm not even speaking in general. The only reason I'm the way I am. I'm, most people that know me, I laugh. Hey, he, 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 he. But for those that have seen like the other parts, the only reason I've ever been that way towards any woman is because of what a woman has done to me. Because if you knew me coming up, I was quiet. That's why when I, I don't know why he and I don't get to, I was up until a certain I don't know point. Why he saying he was quiet. By high school, I was talking more, but early on, I was a little fat boy that was, shy. <laughs> you know, I was trying to find my my way or whatever. But even now, when I look at like my son, I see. The innocence that I used to have. And that I guess by being naive or not being taught what relationships were, I was damaged by a lot of damaged people. And in turn I end up damaging people. Even now I'm still working through things, but it, it the, the root of it was I connected with somebody thinking that their intentions for me was the same as mine was for them. For them in this and that wasn't the case. So I ended up getting some of the wounds from what they've gone through. And over time, as so you do that... So you're saying you took on their baggage? Yeah, and I've done it a few times. And it turns good people bad at times. So then when you see this good person go off or can use such hurtful words, realize some of that come came from y'all. And it's not, but at, at the same time, I still try to be mindful as I, I get older. And as I speak to friends and different women I've been in relationships with, and you learn about how they even ended up that way, you kind of have a little more grace. But as you get older, you still got to own your shit. That's right. Because I don't want to, you, you 50 years old, you still talking about, oh, my mama with me. <laughs> Yo, but people still she stuck whipped, on that. She whooped me. 
And some people still stuck on. You haven't. That goes to show you haven't educated yourself and haven't been given enough tools to get through life. Or you ain't exposed yourself. Because sometimes you gotta expose yourself. Yeah. And we expose ourselves today and we learn on our own. Yeah. Yeah. So why not do that for your own your own, yeah, your own situation? Yeah. Mama move with me. Like, yo. <laughs> and it's not even taken away from the fact that it happened, but you still using it as an excuse. The reason the, re, the reason why you treat men or women Cause the way mama, you treat it, because mama move with me. You're girl, 50 years old. You Great. Cut that off and, and live your life. Live your life, yeah. Another thing, too. And we, we can wrap it up or keep going having long, but one more piece or at least another piece. Okay. How was I going to say that? Because you just spoke about people being stuck on what happened to Generational them. stuff. Yeah. Be mindful if that's helping shape your relationships, too. And I might have spoke on that last time. I don't think you did, but that's, yeah. But I probably would have never thought of that, yeah. Yeah, your, your origin, your family origin and what you saw and the dynamics. I guess it's about constantly being self-aware, which is it's hard to do sometimes to stay aware of, of each move you're making. See if that's coming into play as you engage with other people. Or see how much of that is influencing that, you know. Because you may have had a, a, a rough childhood, mother, father, grandparent, whoever you grew up around. Might have been mishandled, man or woman. How much of that is playing into how you look at sex and how you look at the opposite sex? Or the same, whether you, you know, some of y'all might be pauses, be, be gay. Nothing wrong with that. I'm not. But more love, more power to you. But yeah, you have to consider that. And actually, me personally, I start considering it now when I, I look to date. I try to find out who a, who a mommy is. How, you know what kind of relationship where she grew up in? Yeah, where she grew up, who she grew up around, who was her daddy? Do she know her daddy? That's a big thing too. Daddy issues is real. I'm not even gonna get into all that right now, but that can be a real factor too in how you process how you go looking for men mm -hmm. and and like I say, and, I, and that's what you were saying in the beginning with with which with part? me. About the father being around. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I was trying to tie it into. And I'm not saying it's poking at any of that because it's unfortunate if any of that, if you didn't have good relationships. So I'm not trying to trigger or poke fun or anything. But just be mindful of that and do the work you need to do. It's another quote I have here that says, self-knowledge is the beginning of wisdom, which is the ending of fear. Mm. Self-knowledge is the beginning of wisdom, which is the beginning of fear. And then. Which is the end. Let me say it one more time then. Self-knowledge is the beginning of wisdom, which is the ending of fear. So it all comes back to you. Because we're grooming ourselves. I was thinking about that as you were talking. We're grooming ourselves. I know you continuously groom yourself for the relationship that you want to want to be in. You're grooming yourselves for your career. You're grooming. You're grooming yourself for something all the time and because this is about dating you're grooming yourself to be to acceptable be, okay i like that i like that you know so, so you're you grooming yourself through, to date so you have to get yourself almost like an athlete get yourself in in shape to to play the game mm -hmm. not a game i'm just using that loosely but work on those parts you know i need to improve in this area i need to do this i need to do the work over here um i know in these situations, I'm this way. Let me let me work on me. Mm -hmm. So when I get into the to this field, I won't be fearful. Mm, I won't be fearful because I've done the work. You educated yourself. Educated myself. I know me, so I know how to present me to you. I ain't got to present um, my representative. Oh, yeah. but for so long, cause to a degree, we we bring the little representative, but I can get that out of the way quick because I know me, and I'm not fearful of that. And that can go tie it back into just the word consistency, not what we talked about by consistency, because you're you're gonna be the same. You know, you're gonna be this way to me. Right. If we get married, you're not gonna be that other version. Right, 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 right. Because it might be this way. 
You know what I'm saying? Say that again. I'm sorry. Wait, you. If you Steve Urkel, you gonna present yourself as Steve Urkel. Right, you're not gonna flip. And not because Steve you Urkel. want men accept that you flip the step on the rail. Okay, yeah, yeah. If yeah, you yeah, Steve yeah. Urkel, when I meet you, and we get married, you still Steve Urkel. Still Steve Urkel. Be you. Be you. And naturally evolve. Don't do it like you said. Trying to. Oh, well, she won't. Step on She'll accept head. me if I yeah. flip, do totally the opposite. So let me, do, because you lose yourself. Mm-hmm. You don't want to lose yourself in dating. That's one thing. Don't. If you get to the point where you just want to settle for anything, talk to somebody. Like, I ain't even trying to be funny. And that's fear of being alone by yeah. yourself. You don't want to, so you just going to put, settle. Put yeah. good friends around you. Having good friends in when when looking to date is very important. And I'm actually getting to the point now, but depending on how seriously my intent may be, I'll ask certain people, like, what you know about this person? And not saying that I'm strictly basing it on that, but there were times in the past if I had asked those questions, they would have probably told me, no, bro. Or I found out after the fact that they had information that if they shared it with me, I wouldn't have dated certain people. But I found it after the fact. So now I ask like, hey, what's what? What you know? I don't like to do that too much though. Okay. I'm opposite. Okay. Because people are painting this picture and then you'll make your judgments off of that and what's well, okay and I get that I'm never going to ask somebody where I don't trust their judgment and gotcha. I'm not basing gotcha. it gotcha. on <clears throat> just their judgment I'm basing it on the character of the person I ask knowing that it, even if they tell me something I don't like I know they're telling me from an honest place they're not telling me just to try to make the person look bad or just to keep me from dealing with what they're saying this is what I know this is what I've seen Gotcha. And I know that they're not trying to dirty it up. They just let me know what it is. I'm never going to ask somebody where I got a question. Are they telling me that just so they can hit it? Or, you know, I you know I try not to even deal with people closely to me. I try to only have people that are really my friends that tell are really going to tell me the truth. Yeah, yeah. You know, if, if you can't really tell me the truth, I don't really call you my friend. Because I'm going to tell you the truth. And my friends know that, so... That's that. That's a good one. Um, you got anything else? Oh, that's that's that was it for me. This has been good, y'all. Um, oh, I too. We gonna be we like mad skills in here. Yeah, oh, we he just go by skills. The skills. Rap yeah, up. we doing the wrap up, the <laughs> dating wrap up. This has been good. Um, I guess we about to bring part two to an end. I almost don't want it to end because it's been so good. But um, I hope y'all do find something that can help you out of this. Whether it's from the woman's perspective, the man's perspective, and vice versa. You know, because we both spoke, tried to speak unbiased on a lot of it. You know, some of it was specific to each mm-hmm. gender. But we trying to give some nuggets that can apply whether you're a man or a woman. Because we don't want dating to have to stay being trash. trash. We want to figure it out. Because we don't want to go through here alone. Everybody wants to enjoy life with somebody. Most of us do anyway. Yes. So... Before we go, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. Make sure you like and give some feedback. Hey, if y'all have some some topics as far as, since this is the dating video, as far as dating and stuff goes that we might have skipped over, hit my inbox, put them in the comments. Um, if you got my number, text it to me because I want to keep some of these conversations going along with other stuff I'm going to do, but relationships are very important. How we relate to each other is important. So once again, I want to thank Cookie for coming through. I appreciate you. Do you have anything else to say? That, no. That's it? Okay. All right, well, we're going to get out of here. And I don't know. You might see a back because Cookie be dropping them bombs. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to get out of here. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace. <laughs>